One of the more powerful features in Flashworks is the ability to create a text file with all the foreign language words and their meanings and stuff like that and to import them into Flashworks. And so in this short video I want to show you how to do that. This is also especially important for version 4.5 of Flashworks because the installer does not install a database. You're going to have to install the app and then you're going to have to import the text files in. There were technical reasons for doing this, but uh, not worth spending time on. So anyway, what's going to happen is that when you install Flashworks 4.5, it's going to come up with a splash screen and then it's going to go away and it's going to tell you that it doesn't have a database. So what you do, go ahead and click OK on that and it loads the program in for you. What you're going to do is go up to File, Import Text File. You're going to go through and make sure that all the check boxes are checked and make sure you've chosen the right language. I'm illustrating this with Greek. And then say import. When you downloaded and installed the actual application, it created a file structure that's pretty important that you follow. And what it did was if you go into applications and you go down to um, Technia, that's where your Flashwork applications is. But if you go to your Documents folder and go to the bottom probably, it created another folder called Technia and inside there's Flashworks data. And this is where you were supposed to have downloaded the actual text file and it's where you're supposed to create the new database. It's guessed at the name of the database based on what language you chose. You can call it whatever you want. But my recommendation is to create the database inside the Flashworks data folder. So you go ahead and save it. And now you, it reminds you that you're going to need to go find a text file to import. So you say OK. And go find, in this case, Flashworks Greek.txt. Again, this is the text file that you downloaded from the Technia website. Uh, if you wanted Hebrew, you would have downloaded Flashworks Hebrew.txt. But anyway, go ahead and say Open and it has just created your database and it's given you some specifics for it. So say OK. Now what you've done is create a database but you haven't opened the database and you need to do that next. So you go up to File, say Open Database, go back to where you saved it and there's your FlashworksGreek.vdb. That's the actual database of all the words for Greek. Again, if it were Hebrew, it would be Flashworks Hebrew, Flashworks Spanish, German, whatever you chose. Go ahead and say Open, and it goes and it finds all of the words. And then you can mix them if you want. You can choose Manual, and you can start working through your vocabulary. Now there's one more step you'll probably want to do, and that is that you want to tell Flashworks to open up this new database every time you start the application. So you go into Flashworks and go to your Saved Preferences, click on the Other tab, and then go down here and click on the Browse button. Now what you're going to need to do is to find that new database. And so Technia, Flashworks Data, there's the VDB file, say Open, it wrote it down here for you just so you can know where it is and then you say OK and now every time you start Flashworks you will automatically go to that database. So that's how you create a new database and save it in your preferences. Thanks.